All right, so we just got through recording uh, Thursday night's Crescent Moon Live here on Brownsville Urban Radio Network with Mario Garza. And uh, he's here for some moral support. This is my first uh, <laughs> PSA or information <laughs> broadcast for Brownsville Urban Radio Network. I wanted to let people know what it was and what we're about and what we're trying to do. Brownsville Urban Radio Network aims to be a community of volunteers running a community-based radio station non-commercially, putting community content out on the metacast, and I'm just coining my own terms here to differentiate between uh, what we're going to be doing in, say, traditional broadcast. Traditional broadcast pushes out over the radio and TV spectrums on cable networks and whatnot, and as you know, the landscape is changing for the medium of broadcasting content, and there's a big, huge sea change and shift in who produces content, and instead of a station producing content, actually communities and viewers create content these days, and we'll see that happen more and more. Mm -hmm. And what Brownsville Urban Radio Network is aiming to do is to aggregate the local Brownsville content and to kind of uh, remove some of the barriers for, say, an artist like Mario, who is indeed entrenched in his craft, but you know doesn't have three cameras laying around and an internet connection and the technical expertise to get this all out there. So we'll be doing these kind of shows and looking for uh, producers to produce shows like this, talk shows and cooking shows and music shows. Um, but we need community involvement and that's that's kind of the point of this pitch to both both describe to you what we're trying to do and also get those of you who get this message to come out and help us. And you can do that in a variety of ways. On this coming Saturday, as I'm recording this, we have a work day at the Brownsville Urban Radio Network's main station on Elizabeth Street. The address, Rigo, is? 222 B. 222B. Now, that's located right between uh, Stevenson's Appliances and the, I don't, I'm not sure the name of the Christian church there. They're on, on East Elizabeth Street. So you just take a left, we're coming, coming down Palm, take a left onto Elizabeth Street, or if you're on International, take a right onto Elizabeth Street and get all the way down to around 4th, it's near the corner of 4th, right? Near the corner of 4th? Yeah, between 2nd and 3rd. Oh, between 2nd and 3rd. So between 2nd and 3rd on East Side Elizabeth Street, be there or be square on Saturday at 10 a.m. for... 10 to 6 p.m. we'll be doing uh, cleaning and painting, getting the station ready. One of the rooms has already been outfitted as a uh, recording studio. But that's not the only way people can help. Uh, people who are creative can contribute content. If you're an artist, come down on or get in touch with us and come down on Thursday night to have us stream your uh, performance live on the internet and then archive it for you on your own YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, and let's show the world what Brownsville has to offer in terms of culture and entertainment. There's another way you can support us. We're looking for video cameras. We're looking for microphones. We're looking for cables. We're looking for paint. Any kind of in-kind donations are welcomed. There'll be more information later. I have much more to say about the notion of community radio and non-commercial ra non -commercial radio. But as you can probably tell, I don't have my ducks in a row, my act all together. But I hope to get that together and give you some more information soon. But I wanted to get a video out there you know, as soon as possible. So this was my first attempt. So don't give me any negative comments, please. Uh, please show your support by coming down Saturday or by seeing us here at the moon on Crescent Moon downtown Brownsville on Thursday nights. We're also here recording another live talk show on Saturday evenings. And there's more programming coming. We have a couple of in-production shows and a couple other live shows planned shortly. Um, before I leave you, I will mention one last thing, why it's radio. And that's because one of our... Um, the, one of the impetus for this project and one of our uh, longer range goals is to seek a low power FM radio license so we can broadcast within a nine mile radius of wherever we put that uh, antenna. And I won't get into the nuts and bolts of the FCC regulations and the, and the Senate findings and all that stuff that are, mm -hmm. have created the landscape that we're in right now, but mm -hmm. suffice it to say there is a... Um, a window of opportunity that will shortly be available to us to apply for a low-power FM license. And in the meantime, we're trying to aggregate content so we have something to broadcast on the airwaves when we get there. From now, I'm Grady Deaton. I didn't tell you. Mario Garza. And we're here representing Brownsville Urban Radio Network. But we are you and you are we. So come be a part of what we're doing. And uh, more better videos with uh, a script coming soon. Stay tuned.